Now, from Eyewitness News, this is a live Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather alert. And we're still going to see some slick spots this afternoon and this evening, but at least the accumulating snow is over. And even though it's kind of a hassle during the morning commute, it does look nice, doesn't it? Here's a look from our camera at Oakland Beach and Warwick. A nice blanket of snow on the ground. And in Newport, you can also see some snow coating the ground here in general amounts ranging from about one to three inches. Right now, we're left with pretty cold wind chills. 17, your feel like temperature in Providence. 16, Newport. 19, Westerly. 18 in Block Island. Those winds will pick up this afternoon and likely these wind chills could get close to zero, at least going to the single digits later on this evening and tonight. So our weather headlines show still some slick spots, especially this afternoon and this evening, mostly on those untreated surfaces. Most of the main roads after the treatment should be in decent shape. The cold will continue here for several days below normal all the way through the weekend before temperatures finally start to recover a little bit towards next week. But that could come with some rain showers. In fact, that's the last item in our weather headlines, a chance of rain and snow next week. No big snowstorms. We may may see a, a brief coating along the south coast later on tomorrow night through Saturday morning. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. 27, your temperature coming in for Smithfield and 27 right now in North Kingstown. The center of low pressure and the associated front will continue to kick off shore. That'll bring in actually some sunshine this afternoon, albeit cold sunshine. Now that next weather maker we're watching for tomorrow night. It's not even really organized yet. The energy from that still has to come down here from Canada, swing across a good part of the country, and then it'll play out like this. You can see as we go into tomorrow around 1 or 2 p.m., looking at a partly sunny day. In fact, tomorrow won't feel quite as bad as today because there won't be quite as much of a breeze. Then notice what happens tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. We have two systems to watch. The first one to our north and west may be spreading some snow in northern New England. And then offshore, we may get this band of snow developing as the center of low pressure pulls offshore. Right now, it doesn't look like much of us will see any snow at all, but there may be some flurries or some light snow showers right here along the south coast. Stay tuned for any changes. Obviously, if this shifts further to the north, we'd have to adjust that part of the forecast. But right now, it doesn't look like a big deal. And no matter what happens with that, by Saturday, this is likely offshore, pulling in some chilly winds behind it. Now this afternoon, high temperatures getting into the upper 20s to around 30 degrees, basically a few degrees higher than what we're seeing right now. 30 for Charlestown, 28 Hope Valley, and Narragansett getting up to 30 for Northern Rhode Island. Temperatures also in the upper 20s. Again, with that wind, it's going to feel quite a bit colder. So definitely winter weather gear, hats, gloves, a good thing to have with you today. 27 situate, 27 Coventry. And in Eastern Massachusetts, temperatures also in the upper 20s. 28 for Attleboro and 29 in Seekonk. And you could see what happens once we lose the sunshine. Temperatures really start to fall quickly down to around 19 at 10 p.m. Overnight low temperatures in Providence in the mid teens, but outside of Providence, we could easily go into the single digits. That's why there still could be some slick driveways and sidewalks and really any place where there's some lingering moisture right now. In the seven day future cast, we uh, do have a slight chance of some flurries for tomorrow, but I'm not anticipating that most of us will see that. And then on Saturday, 35 sunshine, but with that breeze, it's going to feel a little colder, feeling like it's the teens and 20s on Saturday afternoon. So just keep that in mind if you're doing some last minute Christmas shopping. It's becoming last minute at this point, right? Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting close. And then the chance of some rain and snow showers there on Monday. Again, Danielle, that was a slight error for Friday. Meant to put just the partly sunny graphic. I think most of us don't see precipitation for tomorrow. Okay, Pete, thank you so yep. much. And now we want to let you know working on